praise Worthy of all his praise, that still ain't enough Yeah, you don't know how hard I prayed And he looked in my grave and he told me get up Yeah, at times I wanted to give up Told me trust him, even with faith The same size as the mustard seed Hello you guys, welcome to another vlog And this is a very exciting vlog Because this is the vlog where we will be buying Our first house my hair that's why it's looking kind of crazy just wash well I washed my leave out and then I blow dried it and I'm about to curl it and throw some flexi rods in it so I can do my makeup but yeah so closing day is tomorrow um and today I am going to do my final walkthrough of the house um and you know make sure everything is everything because the last walkthrough there were a lot of cosmetic things that needed to be done on top of just other stuff so um yes yeah, it's closing is tomorrow we're gonna do our final walkthrough just to make sure everything is everything and you know if there's any more you know blue tape necessary we'll get that done but yeah i haven't even shared with you guys like any backstory i don't even think i've talked about the house on youtube since last year you know what i take that back you guys should have seen the um my chit chat get ready with me i told you guys i was moving but i don't think i went into details about the house so let's talk so a little backstory i um, was one of those people who never cared to buy a home um i was not interested i wanted to live in a penthouse downtown and i wanted to possibly buy a home like for um to rent it out do like an airbnb or something like most things i became a mom and in 2019, after I became a single mom and, you know, just rethinking life and what I want, I did decide that I wanted a house for my baby and me to live in, you know, just to, us to have some permanency. I think that's the word, permanency. And, um, you know, for her to have space to run around in the backyard and all of that. Because at the time, I was living in a one-bedroom apartment with a study. And at that time, Jada was 2019. She was, what, two? So... Yeah, so I've been on the journey to home ownership since 2019. And because I'm I'm an entrepreneur, I've always been an entrepreneur. Um, if you guys don't know, I did hair full time before um, I did this full time. I It took a while also because I had to make sure my taxes were in order and stuff like that. So 2019, I reached out to my realtor, Adrienne, who is the best. I will have her information in the description box. I reached out to Adrienne. She was referred to me by another girl, um, and uh, i was like hey you know i'm really interested in purchasing a home i know i'm not ready right now um but i wanted to know what i need to do to buy a home like how do i find out what i can afford just like you know looking for guidance and education on the space because i had heard that it was really hard as an entrepreneur to purchase a home um also no one in my immediate family has purchased a home before my aunt and uncle own a home and then another of my aunts own a home but that's it that's not my immediate family right yeah, I think so. Anyway, that. So, again, pretty big deal. So, I reached out to her to get some information. She referred me to John, who is a loan officer. And she was like, you know, he can give you further information. But she um, just told me that she has a heart for helping, you know, single mothers get homes because she purchased her first home as a single mom. And so many things went wrong. And that's kind of what pushed her into real estate, which now she's married and her daughter is grown. But um, she was just so instrumental in helping me, especially at that time, of just figuring it out. So I reached out to John, who was the loan officer. And I was like, you know, hey, I'm an entrepreneur looking to buy a house. I do hair. And he pretty much just kind of explained to me um, what the process looks like on the back end as far as a loan and figuring out affordability as an entrepreneur he explained to me you know it would be my taxes I need two years tax statements not to write everything off you know where my credit needed to be which my credit was pretty good even then I went through credit issues in my 20s so by 2019 I was good on that and it was more so um, the finances and making sure I didn't write off things on my taxes so you know I could you know afford to buy a home fast forward most of you guys know last year 2022 february of last year um i put a home under contract and then i ended up letting that house go because um it was just too far at that time i, I had just become a full-time content creator and i i didn't know that i would be traveling as much as i did you know but i just knew that i did not feel a sense of peace about the location about the house it was a beautiful house i love the house i love the community it had everything that i asked for 
with the exception of the location. And you guys know that I always say I have the most amazing support system with Jada. I'm able to travel and do things for work because my family takes her to school extracurriculars when I'm not here. But if we were over there, they would not be able to do that. So you guys, again, saw that I was in tears. I was distraught about letting go of that house. You know, why would God even let me get the home if, you know, if it wasn't the home for us? And you know, all of that kind of stuff. Because even the way that I got that house, I felt was a blessing because there was wait lists out the behind. Um, if you guys have in were in the real estate market in 2022, you know it was crazy. Like I couldn't get a pre-existing home because people were outbidding by hundreds of thousand dollars cash. So my best bet was to do a new build, but there were literally months, months, months long wait lists. So I the only reason I was able to get that home because someone else had it under contract was because it was my realtor's client. Unfortunately, she lost her job. And my realtor was like, hey, I have a, you know, my client who wanted that house. Can she take over the contract instead of you offering it to people on your wait list? And they let her do it because it was her client. So I looked at it as a blessing, but it wasn't, you know, and again, I was so distraught. And we are fast forward 2023. And, um, you know, I got back on the house hunt and very quickly found um, a home. Um, it is a, a new build home, um, but it was what they consider a quick move in. It was pretty much almost done. So like I didn't get to select any, you know, specifications or anything. Um, everything is, you know, pretty much standard and which is okay with me. I really love the layout of the house. There are a few things that I want to change, but it's nothing immediate. Um, and I am just so, so freaking happy y'all. Um, you have no idea um just how excited i am for the time to finally be here like i said i've been working towards this since 2019 it is now 2023 and all i can say is god is faithful i'm just excited cheesing happy grateful um all the things i just i i just can't believe that we are finally about to clothes on our new house I'm trying to give y'all a quick rundown but if you want like a full-on story time if you follow me on instagram you guys know i did like a very impromptu live talking about my experience at this time i was just going to look at houses i hadn't found a house yet i was just telling my best friend literally last night i was like people made it out like the loan process of buying a house would be so excruciating and stressful and that they were going to ask for everything except for like a drop of blood and it really wasn't like that for me like the loan process was or the underwriting process was not bad at all to me what's been stressful um which i'll probably talk about later is this house not being ready and like I was actually supposed to close three days ago, but they had to push closing back because the house wasn't ready, which was fine. But they were just trying to rush me to close with this laundry list of things that they needed to do to the house. And I was like, uh, no, OK, like this is a brand new home and it needs to look like it right now. It looked like Jada came in here and painted. What you mean? So that's <laughs> Like I said, I'll go into that at another time if y'all are interested. If y'all care, I'll spare the details, but just know it's almost time to close. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, yeah. Curling my hair and putting makeup on not to go see the house. Um, Corey is actually coming to the house. That's my photographer. We are going to take some pictures and, um, you know, do a little bit of content um, since I'll be at the house and um we're doing it kind of close to picking jada up from school so i'm gonna do the walkthrough get jada from school and then come back or it's gonna meet us there and we're gonna take some pictures and stuff so i'm getting ready for the pictures not for the walkthrough <laughs> background 
I told y'all I'm moving. It's, you know, it's stuff everywhere. But this is the outfit. These water stains are from me using my Tide pen and some stuff to get makeup off of the dress. So it's still wet. But I got this dress from Express last year. Um, these are Steve Madden shoes, but I got these from Ross like literally like six years ago. One of my favorite pair of shoes. Very comfortable. And that is it. Y'all, I packed up most of my clothes forgetting that you know I still have stuff to do so I just had to find what I could to make it work I like the outfit but I don't have a purse to match so it just is what it is also let me show y'all what Jada's wearing for our pictures I think I told y'all we're taking pictures at the house today so this is her little outfit these shorts are from Carter's and her top is from Target I believe and then her little sandals um she's wearing these sandals from Carter's as well and then I also have this green dress that I was thinking about wearing or maybe changing into. Not exactly sure. I got this from Target last year. So I'm going to take these items. I only have this one pair of shoes. I'm going to throw some sandals in the car as well. Um, and that's it. So let's go check on the house. All right, y'all. It is much later in the day. I'm back home. Um, I did my final walkthrough. And we took some pictures and filmed a little content in the house. Corey came out and I meant to get some behind the scenes. I took my vlogging camera and everything, but I literally just like forgot to pull it out. Normally Jordan's with me and she'll have the camera getting behind the scenes, but it was just me today. And of course Corey is shooting and I meant to prop my camera up. I just forgot. So there's that, but I'll insert some pictures um, before or after this, you guys can see. Or if you follow me on social, you'll see the content that we created. Um, so yeah, I am exhausted if you can't tell. Shooting with um, a little person, Jada has so much energy, y'all. It's just like, oh my God, please. So yeah, shooting with her, even for that what hour that we shot, it wasn't even a lot. And it wasn't even shooting with her for an hour, but it was just, it's just exhausting. So, um, but she did such a good job and I promised her ice cream afterwards. So we went and got some ice cream and now we are home. Um, She's watching a little TV and I'm in here by myself decompressing for a moment before we start our bed, uh, bedtime routine. And yeah, tomorrow is closing day. So um, I think I told you guys that there was like a lot of things that needed to be done with the house. Um, closing got pushed back because it was just not ready. And um, so today there are a few blue tape areas, a few like maybe 10 areas in the whole house, which is not bad. Um, but we ended up pushing closing back to later in the day because a lot of it is just paint. And so, um, they were like, they would give them time to finish the paint. And then the blinds were also still not installed. Um, and I did pay for blinds. Um, if you didn't know, cause I didn't know with new builds, you have to purchase blinds. Um, they do not come with blinds like a pre-existing home, or at least in Dallas it doesn't. So I did purchase blinds and I was like, where are the blinds? Um, so they were supposed to come out and install them today or early tomorrow or something i don't know but i need the lines in the house because i don't need people looking in at us you know what i'm saying so let me unwind decompress and i'll check back in with you guys tomorrow for closing <laughs> So I just finished signing all of the paperwork for my new home. I'm just waiting on um, them to do whatever they do and give me the okay to go pick up my keys. All right, y'all. So everything is done and I'm headed to pick up my keys. I'm trying not to cry because 
Oh, y'all, I cried the whole morning because I was just so emotional. Y'all know this has been quite the journey, okay? I cried this morning. I let myself cry. I was like, girl, get your, get your tears out before you put your makeup on because um, I knew I wanted to look cute for a closing. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to pull into the garage, honey, and clean. I got my blessed oil in the back and my little cleaning supplies. Um, I'm going to get a deep clean, but I just want to hit the touch points today with like some disinfectant and stuff. And I got my blessed oil so I can anoint the house before, you know, everything else starts to happen. But I bought it! Hello and welcome to Nita's humble abode. <laughs> but I'm gonna give you guys a quick little mini tour of the house, share with you guys some of my favorite things about the house. And the first thing would be the common area because this space is so open. I really, really wanted a two-story open living room. As you guys can see, we have really high ceilings and we have tons of windows to allow for natural light, which as a content creator, I love that for me, okay? <laughs> Let's go into my second favorite part of the house. So of course, as a fashion content creator, closet space is essential, okay? Well, first of all, the windows, but closet space is essential, so I have two closets. This is one. I love this. You guys will see a ton of get ready with me's in this mirror here. And let me show y'all the second closet. So this is a second closet. Now, although it's small, I love the fact that it goes up really high so that I can um, I'm gonna get the closets custom, but I love the fact that I can put things up to the ceiling so it will allow for plenty of space for all of these clothes and shoes that I have. So while we're here, I'll show you guys the bathroom because I love it. Now, in due time, I'm gonna do some renovations, but for now, I do love it. Um, I love just the double sinks. I love the shower and a tub. That was a must for me. I had to have a separate shower and a separate tub because it's necessary. I'm a shower girl, but I do love to soak. So that was a must. All right, so this is Jada's space, okay? She can do her thing up here. Plenty of space for her to run around and get her life. And my favorite part is just the Juliet balcony, how you can look over and look down. If I'm hosting, people's kids are upstairs playing. If y'all hear Jada in the background, she's watching YouTube kids, so that means it's time for me to go. All right, you guys, I'm home. <laughs> uh, I was gonna uh, vlog or get like when I came into the garage, but I was on the phone with my realtor because she got, um, she was able to be here today. She's not from here and she had a very important doctor's appointment back home. So, um, and then I, I don't know if I told y'all, they ended up moving closing. So she made arrangements to be here for closing, then it moved and she was able to be here. So, um, so yeah, I came up and she got this sign in the yard, but it is so windy today to have the sign blew away like with my name, but it was like, welcome home, Nita and Jada. I will show y'all, but I don't know if I want the front of my house on the internet, but it was so cute. Um, so yeah, we are home. A little sneak peek of everything and yeah i got me some food because i'm starving i have not eaten all day i didn't really have an appetite and i don't know why i was like nervous and i guess just excited nerves and all the things but yeah i had to use my keys to make sure they worked in the front and the back door and came up into the garage i don't have anything to wash my hands with but um but yeah i'm starving so i'm about to eat my little pizza and um, yeah, I brought my, I brought some cleaning supplies. They cleaned, I have somebody doing a deep clean, but for today, I just wanna wipe all the touch points with my, um, with my um, like Lysol wipes. I wanna hit the touch points in, the, in like, you know, the bathrooms and stuff and put some tissue in the bathrooms for when we're in here between moving and cleaning and stuff, you know, just to make sure we have that. And then I have my blessed oil. I'm about to anoint the house, honey, um, before we get started with all the other things, so. I can't believe I finally did it. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna cry on here. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Oh, 
God is so faithful.